Okay, so here we are with some more Jetco tires and I'm really excited to show you what I've actually got for you because we've got two brand new releases from Jetco. I don't know anyone else has actually got these tires at the moment, so I'm super pumped to show you those. I've also got some new tread patterns and a couple of different wheel sizes and tire sizes uh, to show you just so that I can sort of play around with them and uh, try them on a few different RCs to see what works and what doesn't. We're gonna be doing some size comparisons as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. We're gonna start with the new uh, releases. We have the Black Phoenix over here. This is an on-road tire. And over here, we have the Profit. Now these are four inch wheels. These aren't your typical 3.8 inch. Uh, of course, they'll have the hubs in there. I haven't put them on yet uh, because I haven't decided what I'm gonna use these on. Plus, I only have a pair of each at the moment, so um, I could probably run one at the front and the, the, the offer runs at the back, but um, I'm gonna wait until these actually become available and then I'll get matching pairs and you know I'll play around with them to see how they work and how they perform. Now, we'll start with the uh, Profit here. So the Profit is the off-road version. These are belted as well, super low profile on the tires as you can see there. Um, and then of course you can screw in your hubs um, to you know, your desired offset, so you can have a zero offset or you can get them with a half inch offset, I believe. And then of course the on-road tire, which I think a lot of people are gonna be using these for speed runs on their big cars. I don't know what sort of speed these are rated for. Um, you know, most of these belted tires could probably get somewhere around, I don't know, 100 mile an hour or something, so. Uh, but don't quote me, um, Jetco haven't sort of uh, quoted any speed ratings for these, but I would assume that that'll be like a standard uh, maybe it could be 80 miles an hour, I don't know, but um, very cool looking tire. I would almost be uh, encouraging them to come up with like fifth scale hubs on these uh, because I could see these kind of being useful on some fifth scale on-road cars like some Formula Ones or some touring cars or something like that. They look really, really cool. Um, and just to, as a size comparison, so this is your typical 3.8 inch wheel. Uh, it's got the King Cobra tread on there, which you've seen in the last video. Um, and this kind of gives you an idea of size. So it's very much, you know, MT size, but they're very flat and quite wide as well. Now, uh, whilst we've got this here, I may as well show you some of the other options. Uh, so we've got the standard, you know, 3.8 inch Badlands, 17 mil hex. These are an old set that come with the uh, old Desperado wheels. I think a lot of these now come with the uh, Raid wheels from Proline. So you can see the size there, it's very similar in size, uh, but when you go width wise, you can see just how massively wide the Jetco tires are. Uh, and the same thing here with the, uh, the off-road tread. So um, they're, they're, if anything, these actually look a little bit bigger to be honest with you. So uh, that's kind of cool. Uh, we've also got uh, these which are the um, armor uh, backflips from your Notorious or Outcast. So these are still a little bit bigger um, and like the contrast in the amount of cushioning you're gonna get with, from this tire compared to this tire, which is almost nothing, is, is incredible. But again, you flip them on their side and you can see that the Jetco tire is considerably wider as well. Uh, we'll do one more size comparison just for good measure. This is your uh, 3.8 inch Badlands or MX-38s um, and uh, there's your size differences there. And width-wise, width-wise, there's probably not much in it, to be honest with you. It's very similar. If anything, the Pro Line's probably, might even be a tad wider. But of course, you've got a lot of cushioning here. These aren't belted, so these are gonna be ballooning like crazy. These are belted, uh, which I think is very, very cool to see that. So that's these uh, two new releases. Uh, we've got the Profit, which is the off-road one, and then we've got the Black Phoenix, which is the on-road one. Uh, they look absolutely fantastic, and I can't wait to uh, get matching pairs so that I could actually run them. So moving on to your typical 3.8-inch uh, wheel and tire that you would use you know, on your Creighton, um, Outcast, uh, Savage, whatever it is you want to use these on. Now, these are belted off-road uh, tires, uh, which is uh, pretty nice to see. So you're not gonna get a lot of ballooning. And you can tell they're belted because I can't really um, squeeze them that hard across here. These are non-belted and you can see just how I can squeeze that quite easily from side to side. I can't do that with these. The good thing is these don't actually feel very heavy. So again, Comparing them to, say, the Proline tire, they, if anything, these are, actually, these are actually a little bit smaller, just marginally smaller, 
Width-wise, the Proline at least looks wider on screen. Um, and weight-wise, they're probably about the same, to be honest. I mean, this doesn't have the hubs in it, so it'll weigh a little bit more once you put the hub in. Um, but that's, uh, that's the King Cobra 3.8-inch MT. Uh, and then we go across to this one. This is the 3.8-inch um, SGT, uh, which is like, or ST, I think they call it. Um, which is uh, like a stadium truck, low profile. So in comparison to the four inch wheel, you can see that the four inch wheel is quite a fair bit bigger. Um, and these, uh, I actually thought that I could use these on something like the uh, Vorza S, but they're actually quite small. They're very wide. Uh, this is called the Tomahawk, I believe. Uh, yes, so Tomahawk is actually written on the side there. Uh, which is actually a really cool tread. I don't mind this tread at all. I think it's fantastic. These are also belted. Um, and of course, you got you can then screw your hub into a zero offset or half inch offset, depending on which tire you get. Um, but they're considerably smaller than, you know, your, your typical MT tire. And then if you go to, say, for example, back to the Badlands, um, you can see that these are actually quite a fair bit smaller than the Badlands and they're also quite a fair bit wider. Now, where I'm thinking I might be able, oops, the Badlands don't go there. Uh, where I'm thinking I might be able to use these is either on the Skeeter, just for something different, uh, and to have the belted if I wanna run it on the Skeeter, the Tim Rally Skeeter, or um, I could probably run them on my uh, Senton MT and, and just see how they perform with that given that they're belted um, that could be an option as well. Uh, they're almost the same size as like a 3.8 inch uh, typical 10 scale tire. So uh, unfortunately they're on a, on a two, you know, a 3.8 inch uh, wheel. So you can't really get 12 mil hexes for these wheels. So you can't put them on a standard 10 scale MT, uh, which I think would look really good. Um, and you can't get 14 mil hexes for these out at all. So you'd need to run 17 mil with these particular tires, uh, with these wheels and tires. So I got these thinking that I could put them on the Vorza. I don't think I'm gonna put them on the Vorza because it looks ridiculous. It looks way too small and they're, they're super wide as well. So I'm gonna find a different use for those at some stage. Uh, and now lastly, we've got, or almost lastly, but we'll get to those in a second. These are your 2.8 inch but these are the ST uh, style of tire. So these are the rock form. Um, I actually really like the tread on this uh, because the tread is staggered. And I don't know if you can see it on camera at all, but you've got low, uh, like low profile lugs on it and you've got the high ones on here as well. So it kind of alternates between low and high. I really like the tread pattern on this. Uh, these are the non-belted ones. Um, these don't come belted. They're a 2.8 inch. These are great for stadium trucks, so you can put them on like um, uh, your Rustlers 4x4s, for example. Um, you can put them on, what else did I see? Oh, the Mad Van, they're actually a perfect size for the Mad Van, uh, if you want to put them on that with a 12 mil hex. Um, anything that really has, uh, you know, a small, a smallish tire, so any sort of like 10 scale truggy would work really well. You could probably even put them on, you know, your typical short course trucks, for example, to kind of make them like a bit of, little bit of an MT, but not really. So they're a 2.8 inch wheel. So you just gotta keep that in mind. As long as it clears the hubs, you should be okay. So I like these. I think these will actually come in handy in a couple of different cars that I have. The MT ones, I'm, uh, I'm probably gonna get more of the MTs, but I'm gonna get them in the rock form or perhaps even in the Tomahawk just to use them on a couple of different cars and you have some options. Um, but the, those uh, 3.8 inch STs, they're, they're a really unique size because of the low profile tire. So you really gotta pick your car where you're gonna run this um, because uh, yeah, they're, they're just totally different. They're about the same size as what comes on the Skeeter to give you an idea of wheel and tire size there. All right, now lastly are the fifth scale. Um, uh, these are the King Cobras. They're also available, uh, I think, in the Tomahawk, in that tread pattern, uh, which is actually really nice. And these come in three different colors. You can get the green, which is uh, this painted green that you see here. There's also a red and a blue. 
Uh, now, I only have one pair of these. I don't know if I'm ever going to be using these, uh, given that they're green. Maybe one day if I decide to paint the uh, Creighton uh, 8S in a greenish sort of body, maybe I could use them on there. But um, bit rare in mind that you might see some blemishes and things like that on these wheels. Uh, these are samples that were sent to me, so the, the finished product might be a little bit different to what you see here. Um, I do notice, though, that the hub is black. I don't know if the finished product has hu uh, black hubs or not. Obviously, if you buy the hubs separately, they're gonna be black, um, but I don't know if the wheels come with just black hubs or if they are, in fact, painted as well. I presume they might just be black. It's probably not a big deal, uh, because with the screw going on there and everything, it's probably gonna scrape all the, all the paint uh, pretty quickly on this. So that's how they look like on the, on the uh, backside as well. And uh, that's those, the King Cobras. So I actually use these very briefly not these ones, but I've got a set of black ones on my Creighton 8S, um, but I kept getting the pinion, the pinion kept coming loose. So I don't have any like proper footage. The footage I have was like two minutes. So I didn't upload anything into YouTube on that, but I will get the car fixed up and fix the pinion and show you what those um, King Cobras look like on the Creighton 8S. Now, um, just to one last final size comparison before I forget, this is your typical uh, 12, you know, 10 scale, uh, MX 28 and that's what the ST looks like to give you an idea of size width wise there You can see they're a little bit narrower than your standard MT But you've got that lower profile tire, which is actually really really nice They the wheels almost look like the raid wheels, but they're not there's there are some differences between the spokes and everything else So they don't quite look the same um, But again, you've got interchangeable hubs on this you can put 14 mil hexes if you want uh, you can put 12 mil hexes uh, whatever it is you want to do and that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. I don't want to make this too long I just wanted to show you these new tires uh, especially the uh, uh, Prophet and the black Phoenix over there and I wanted to show you the new tread patterns and how, how you know all these Jetco tires that are now becoming available uh, be sure to check your local hobby shops for stock um, if you want uh, me to get some in for you through Metro Hobbies give me a call check out their website tell me what tires you want and uh, we can get them in for you. So um, be sure to check the links in the video description below for Metro Hobbies. You'll get a phone number there. Uh, send us an email, whatever it is you want, we can get them in. We have full access to the entire range uh, that is currently being brought in to Australia. So I think there's a few, like the racing tires, we may not be able to get those at the moment. Um, but uh, all of these bashing ones, we should be able to get them pretty, uh, pretty easily. Uh, these new tires, the four inch ones, these are going to be a little, a few weeks away as of time of filming, so um, it's going to take a little while to get those in. Uh, hence why I've only got a pair of each because these are just like samples. Uh, but they look really cool. I can't wait to try them out and, and just give you guys some feedback on how they perform and what sort of speeds you can do with these tires as well. I think it'll be really cool. Uh, so that's it from me, guys. Thank you all very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button before you go. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you're new. And uh, like I said, check out the video description for more links to where you can get these tires from. Uh, also to the Jetco website. And of course, to my social media links if you want to keep a couple of steps ahead of what goes on here on YouTube. That's it from me. Thank you again. And I'll speak to you all next time. And I'll show you some of the uh, the, the treads and the... Com <laughs> These are ultra wide. And uh, of course, we're going to be doing some size comparisons. Did I mention that originally? I don't know. Let's start again. Uh, I've got a couple of different tread patterns and some different wheel sizes that we're going to be... Uh, size comparisons as... <laughs> what? Um, that you'd use on a fifth scale Formula One. So that's those two. Uh, this guy here is called the... Uh, the um, forgot.